στην Παρθέτζικα Ανήσυχία. Hello, this is uh, Chef Andros. This is uh, my book from uh, 1968, when I was a pupil of the English school Nicosia, uh, in the third form. <coughs> Now, to learn English at that time, <coughs> we had to use uh, several books. Uh, written in English, and um, one of the books was the Contigi Expedition by Thor Herder. So in this book, there are several um, illustrations and drawings. And this is what they found um, a carved in a cave in Peru years ago. And uh, <clears throat> when I started um, the ship modeling, I remember that uh, I had a book uh, about the uh, Contigi raft. So in 1996, <clears throat> Um, having the little information from this book, I decided to make the, the Contigi raft. And now that you see it, it is um, sailing in the Pacific Ocean with a crew of six with four Herdel. And um, I built my model in the scale of one uh, twenty-fifth. So, according to the book, it was uh, so many feet and so many inches. And uh, um, I did um, a batik <coughs> uh, uh, sailcloth. And my late mother used to stitch for me the same way as they did on the real Contiki. The figure uh, of this head that they found um, in the in the Incas cave in Peru a long time ago. So. Um, I don't think that this is a very accurate model, <coughs> but um, with the little information I had, I did the bamboo deck, as it was uh, described in the book. I did the cabin, and actually I teared away uh, a beach mat uh, to create uh, the walls of my cabin. And I used some uh, banana leaves uh, to make the roof. And here we go to the to the back of the boat of the raft. And this is the steering. Uh, this is the rudder. And this is where they took the shifts uh, to keep the raft uh, sailing into the ocean. Uh, to cover that huge distance of a few thousand miles uh, into the ocean to reach uh, Tahiti, where the Incas might have a refuge when they were chased um, away from their homeland. So let's take a, a look of the Contiki. It's not very accurate. But uh, when I started uh, doing this model, I was um, just a beginner a modeler. This is probably my third uh, model that I did in uh, 1995, 20 years ago. So this is the cabin. I don't think that the door is uh, so accurate, but still it has some... Um, 
a 50, a 253 centimeter opening so that they could, uh, they could go into the cabin. <clears throat> and the flag of uh, Norway, I'm sure it had more flags on the original one, but I respect for Heisdell and he was Norwegian. So, let's see another... Uh, I was never um, a fussy modeler. I made humble things, poor things, and uh, to build this one, <clears throat> I used broomsticks that uh, we had um, many uh, in excess in our restaurant because we had uh, we were changing brooms every now and then. So some of the broomsticks they they were. They were quite old. I made them uh, look uh, um, even older. And I made them... Um, well, I, I didn't have a balsa wood of this uh, size. But uh, I think that, um, uh, that the <clears throat> scale is very close to accurate. So as described in the book, it was uh, so many feet uh, thickness and so many feet uh, length. Um, this raft it was supposed to be 48 um, um, a feet long, and I think that the square, uh, that the rectangular part of the of the raft is um, is accurate. Probably the bow <coughs> uh, is um, in excess. I don't really. It doesn't really matter, but it gives um, the idea that uh, some people used uh, this uh, primitive uh, raft to go across the ocean um, from Peru to uh, Tahiti, and I think that uh, they did a very uh, fine job. Um, I did uh, read the book quite a few times. Um, uh, earlier and, uh, and after. It even has uh, a glossary at the back. Uh, you see, we used uh, this book as, um, as an English uh, book, um, uh, you know, just, just for our English lesson. <clears throat> and it gives uh, some um, really it gives some, uh, some words so it says here plank, it says it's a long flat piece of smooth wood. And of course, I know what is planking today, I'm doing uh, model ships and I know better. At the time I used to uh, open more books. So it says, um, what is, um, what is a lash? It says what is a logbook. Um, it says, um, you know, many, many, many words used in the in the naval um, language. Um, so it says a helm, arrangement for steering. A helmsman is the man who steers. So at that time we were very young uh, pupils, we didn't know very good English. So it gave um, a few uh, words that um, we might uh, uh, need to, to, uh, to have a better understanding. Yes. So <clears throat> this is my Contigi book of uh, Thor Herdel. And, um, this is um, his raft, and I am uh, very happy that in 1995 I made this model, and it really impressed uh, people. 
Okay. So this is Chef Andros. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back uh, with more videos for you uh, with my modeling work. Thank you very much. Bye bye.